And the server came up to our table and asked us if we had dined there before. And I said, yes. And the server came up to our table and asked us if we had dined there before. And I said, yes. And the server came up to our table and asked us if we had dined there before. And I said, yes. And the server came up to our table and asked us if we had dined there before. And I said, yes. And the server came up to our table and asked us if we had dined there before. And I said, yes. And the server came up to our table and asked us if we had dined there before. And I said, yes. And the server came up to our table and asked us if we had dined there before. And I said, yes. And the server came up to our table and asked us if we had dined there before. And I said, yes. And the server came up to our table and asked us if we had dined there before. And I said, yes. And the server came up to our table and asked us if we had dined there before. And I said, yes. So Webster's Dictionary defines the word awesome as fear mingled with admiration or reverence, a feeling produced by something majestic. So Webster's Dictionary defines the word awesome as fear mingled with admiration or reverence, a feeling produced by something majestic. So Webster's Dictionary defines the word awesome as fear mingled with admiration or reverence, a feeling produced by something majestic. So Webster's Dictionary defines the word awesome as fear mingled with admiration or reverence, a feeling produced by something majestic. So Webster's Dictionary defines the word awesome as fear mingled with admiration or reverence, a feeling produced by something majestic. So Webster's Dictionary defines the word awesome as fear mingled with admiration or reverence, a feeling produced by something majestic. So Webster's Dictionary defines the word awesome as fear mingled with admiration or reverence, a feeling produced by something majestic. So Webster's Dictionary defines the word awesome as fear mingled with admiration or reverence, a feeling produced by something majestic. So Webster's Dictionary defines the word awesome as fear mingled with admiration or reverence, a feeling produced by something majestic. So Webster's Dictionary defines the word awesome as fear mingled with admiration or reverence, a feeling produced by something majestic. That parking space can be nearby. 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 So when you use the word awesome to describe the most mundane of things, Things, you're taking away the very power of the word. So when you use the word awesome to describe the most mundane of things, you're taking away the very power of the word. So when you use the word awesome to describe the most mundane of things, you're taking away the very power of the word. So when you use the word awesome to describe the most mundane of things, you're taking away the very power of the word. So when you use the word awesome to describe the most mundane of things, you're taking away the very power of the word. So when you use the word awesome to describe the most mundane of things, you're taking away the very power of the word. So when you use the word awesome to describe the most mundane of things, you're taking away the very power of the word. So when you use the word awesome to describe the most mundane of things, you're taking away the very power of the word. So when you use the word awesome to describe the most mundane of things, you're taking away the very power of the word. So when you use the word awesome to describe the most mundane of things, you're taking away the very power of the word. And we need to raise the bar for this poor schmuck. <laughs> Then we need to raise the bar for this poor schmuck. Then we need to raise the bar for this poor schmuck. Then we need to raise the bar for this poor schmuck. Then we need to raise the bar for this poor schmuck. Then we need to raise the bar for this poor schmuck. Then we need to raise the bar for this poor schmuck. Then we need to raise the bar for this poor schmuck. Then we need to raise the bar for this poor schmuck. Then we need to raise the bar for this poor schmuck. <laughs>
Because if you have everything, you value nothing. It's a lot like drinking from a fire hose. If you have everything, you value nothing. It's a lot like drinking from a fire hose. If you have everything, you value nothing. It's a lot like drinking from a fire hose. If you have everything, you value nothing. It's a lot like drinking from a fire hose. If you have everything, you value nothing. It's a lot like drinking from a fire hose. If you have everything, you value nothing. It's a lot like drinking from a fire hose if you have everything you value nothing it's a lot like drinking from a fire hose if you have everything you value nothing it's a lot like drinking from a fire hose if you have everything you value nothing it's a lot like drinking from a fire hose if you have everything you value nothing it's a lot like drinking from a fire hose imagine if you will having to schlep everything on your back imagine if you will having to schlep everything on your back Imagine if you will having to schlep everything on your back. Imagine if you will having to schlep everything on your back. Imagine if you will having to schlep everything on your back. Imagine if you will having to schlep everything on your back. Imagine if you will having to schlep everything on your back. Imagine if you will having to schlep everything on your back. Imagine if you will having to schlep everything on your back. Imagine if you will having to schlep everything on your back. Pharaoh had his slaves move millions of blocks just to this site to erect a big freaking headstone. Pharaoh had his slaves move millions of blocks just to this site to erect a big freaking headstone. Pharaoh had his slaves move millions of blocks just to this site to erect a big freaking headstone. Pharaoh had his slaves move millions of blocks just to this site to erect a big freaking headstone. Pharaoh had his slaves move millions of blocks just to this site to erect a big freaking headstone. Pharaoh had his slaves move millions of blocks just to this site to erect a big freaking headstone. Pharaoh had his slaves move millions of blocks just to this site to erect a big freaking headstone. Pharaoh had his slaves move millions of blocks just to this site to erect a big freaking headstone. Pharaoh had his slaves move millions of blocks just to this site to erect a big freaking headstone. Pharaoh had his slaves move millions of blocks just to this site to erect a big freaking headstone. And earlier today, when you whipped out your smartphone and you took a shot of your awesome sandwich and you know who you are. And earlier today, when you whipped out your smartphone and you took a shot of your awesome sandwich and you know who you are. And earlier today, when you whipped out your smartphone and you took a shot of your awesome sandwich and you know who you are. And earlier today, when you whipped out your smartphone and you took a shot of your awesome sandwich and you know who you are. And earlier today, when you whipped out your smartphone and you took a shot of your awesome sandwich and you know who you are. And earlier today, when you whipped out your smartphone and you took a shot of your awesome sandwich and you know who you are. And earlier today, when you whipped out your smartphone and you took a shot of your awesome sandwich and you know who you are. And earlier today, when you whipped out your smartphone and you took a shot of your awesome sandwich and you know who you are. And earlier today, when you whipped out your smartphone and you took a shot of your awesome sandwich and you know who you are. And earlier today, when you whipped out your smartphone and you took a shot of your awesome sandwich and you know who you are. Wasn't that easier than exposing the image to copper plates coated with iodized silver? Wasn't that easier than exposing the image to copper plates coated with iodized silver? Wasn't that easier than exposing the image to copper plates coated with iodized silver? Wasn't that easier than exposing the image to copper plates coated with iodized silver? Wasn't that easier than exposing the image to copper plates coated with iodized silver wasn't that easier than exposing the image to copper plates coated with iodized silver wasn't that easier than exposing the image to copper plates coated with iodized silver wasn't that easier than exposing the image to copper plates coated with iodized silver wasn't that easier than exposing the image to copper plates coated with iodized silver wasn't that easier than exposing the image to copper plates coated with iodized silver because if crops aren't pollinated we can't grow food because if crops aren't pollinated 
pollinated. We can't grow food because of crops aren't pollinated. We can't grow food because of crops aren't pollinated. We can't grow food because of crops aren't pollinated. We can't grow food because of crops aren't pollinated. We can't grow food because of crops aren't pollinated. We can't grow food because of crops aren't pollinated. We can't grow food because of crops aren't pollinated. We can't grow food because of crops aren't pollinated. We can't grow food. Jimi Hendrix's version of the Star Spangled Banner was the most iconic. Jimi Hendrix's version of the Star Spangled Banner was the most iconic. Jimi Hendrix's version of the Star Spangled Banner was the most iconic. Jimi Hendrix's version of the Star Spangled Banner was the most iconic. Jimi Hendrix's version of the Star Spangled Banner was the most iconic. Jimi Hendrix's version of the Star Spangled Banner was the most iconic. Jimi Hendrix's version of the Star Spangled Banner was the most iconic. Jimi Hendrix's version of the Star Spangled Banner was the most iconic. Jimi Hendrix's version of the Star Spangled Banner was the most iconic. Jimi Hendrix's version of the Star Spangled Banner was the most iconic.